We'll be doing a calculation to calculate the start resistance for a face page starter connected to a motor. Before we do that, let's just take a look at the fundamental principle of our electrical circuits. In this diagram, we have a shunt circuit. It is a motor, so therefore it's drawing current from the supply. Most of the current goes through the armature and a small amount of current goes through the shunt winding. The resistance in the armature is called armature resistance and the shunt winding is called R shunt. For our faceplate starter, we put resistors in series with the armature in order to limit current at start. We have a position arm which will move from the off position to stud one during the start. And we have two protective devices known as the overload relay and the no volt relay. When we connect our electric circuit so that we have a shunt motor, you'll see that the field winding is connected in parallel to the armature. Now for this exam type calculation, for a faceplate starter connected to a shunt motor, a 7.5 kilowatt 220 volt shunt connected motor is started using a faceplate starter. The motor has an efficiency of 93%. The motor has an armature resistance of 0,4 ohms and a shunt field resistance of 100 ohms. If the overloads are set at 135% of full load current, calculate the value of the starting resistance. Now what I'll do is, let's first just write the formula here. How do we calculate R start before we move on? To calculate R start, it will be the terminal voltage over IA max, so the maximum armature current that the armature will experience minus RA. Okay, so obviously we're going to have to calculate R start using this formula. And just to show you how we will calculate IA max ahead of time, and then we'll work out all the unknown variables. So to calculate the maximum armature current, I will take the overload, which is set at 135%, divide that by 100 and then we will multiply it by IA and that will give us IA max. Okay, so just to make sure I have enough space, the first thing to do is to calculate the uh, armature current. So to calculate armature current for a shunt motor, it will be IL minus I shunt. In order to calculate the supply current, it's going to be power over voltage. And for a motor, we always use input power. And to calculate the shunt current, it's going to be V over R shunt. And it's minus because it's a motor. So as you can see, we need the input power. Uh, so normally I would do this first, but I wanted to show you the formula to start off with. So to calculate the input power, it's going to be the output power divided by the efficiency of 0.93. The output power is 7,500 watts divided by the efficiency of 0.93. So the input power is going to be 8,064,516 watts. Right, now that we've got the input power, we can go ahead and substitute. Okay, so the input power of 8,064,516. The terminal voltage is 220 volts. Subtract the shunt current, calculate that. The terminal voltage of 220 divided by R shunt, which is 100 ohms. So we're going to say 36,665 minus the shunt current of 2,2. And therefore, our armature current under normal conditions will be 34,455 amps. Right, so to go back now, um, in order to work out what is the maximum amount of armature current that this machine will experience, so 135 divided by 100 times our normal armature current of 34,455. Therefore, IA max is going to be 46,514 amps. Now we can actually go ahead and substitute. So our terminal voltage for our machine is 220 volts. The IA max of 46,514. Subtract our armature resistance of 0,4. So therefore, the resistors that are connected in series with the armature 
will be 4 comma 3 3 ohms okay thanks guys for watching this video